Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and we're actually going to get to recap in this ghostly take. A good weekend for the Phantoms. Unfortunately, it ended in a 2-0 loss to Hershey, where they couldn't pick up Felix Sandstrom and get any goals on Sunday, but it looked like there were some tired legs there after being able to take out the Laval Rocket and the Hartford Wolfpack. And the Hartford Wolfpack in a game that just due to the scoring output of our Phantoms really of late, that haven't got over three goals really in a hot minute, uh, was a game that was really nice to see because, one, they scored four goals to win 4-3 to three against Laval when the last time our Phantoms were able to score a game and win when they got above that was 6-3 to three in Hershey on the 11th of February. So it's been a while since our Phantoms were able to score three or more goals and get a win. They did it in back-to-back days on Friday against the Laval Rocket, uh, where they won 4-3 to three due to a goal um, at 10, at 16.55, excuse me, by Cal O'Reilly, then Kevin Roy tied it, and then Laval came a scoring in the second with Harvey Pinard and then Justin Ducharme, but then no matter, uh, no threat, I guess I should say, as Logan Day scored, Max Willman scored, and Wade Allison scored the winning goal in his first game back, which was obviously huge to see. Uh, for Wade Allison to be able to get it done, come in, and pot the goal. Now, when it comes to the next game against the Hartford Wolfpack, uh, that obviously was just a ridiculous um, battle-to-the-end offensive gauntlet of a game, so to speak, where that game was actually an odd one because Karu Ustamenko, because there's three games of the weekend, usually you don't want to play a goal for three days, in a row, got the start, struggled big time in it. Personally, I thought since he's been up from the Royals, other than really yesterday, uh, or Saturday, I should say, today's Monday, um, all the days kind of blend together, but um, other than Saturday, he really was off on Saturday, Carew. But he's a guy that's still working back from the hip injury. He's a guy that I think has played great for the Reading Royals. Kirk McDonald will attest to that. And a guy that Kirk McDonald still believes has a chance to be an NHL level goaltender too, as, a, as whatever side of the NHL level goaltender he believes he will be, I think there's a chance that too, because he's a very athletic guy that can slide and move very well in that, he's just not as toned in positionally as our Felix Sandstrom, Samuel Orsons of the world, who also have had more chance to play games, because they haven't been as banged up until this year for Urson and then Sandstrom uh, coming back um, in the COVID year, and then having a great run, and then that continuing this year was when he was banged up. But Usti hasn't had as much of a run of games, obviously, because he's kind of the third string goaltender for the Phantoms and then plays for the Royals as well. They also have Pat Nagel. So he's had a little bit more sitting on his hands, playing, sitting on his hands, playing. So with all that considered, I think he's played fine. But Saturday was not the great game for him where Tyron and Zach Jones got him. Cal O'Reilly scored the first two goals. So Cal O'Reilly had a very hot weekend, was the first star of the weekend, I would say, being able to start the goals against Laval and then being able to continue scoring. He scored two against the Hartford Wolfpack, Apollo Nemi, and then Rushoff were able to score that in the first period, so it was two Cal O'Reilly goals and three Hartford Wolfpack goals in that first period on Saturday. Then Tanner, the man Lazinski, Sam Wismer's favorite player, was able to score, Hayden Hodge was able to score twice in the second period, so that's where the Phantoms were really able to make their mark. Last game against Laval in the second period, the Phantoms were not as sharp, where Laval was able to come and really bring the scoring punch in the second period, and the Phantoms recovered to beat Laval. In this game, they really gave it to the Hartford Wolfpack in the second period, scored all three goals, and then that seemed to really uh, destroy the momentum of the Wolfpack. They were able to get one by Laredo at 12.55, and then about three minutes later, that's when Logan Day, again, who's also a star of the weekend, stepping up again after potting one on Friday, he was able to pot one again, <clears throat> on Saturday, and this time, just like Wade Allison was able to do the day before, he got the deciding goal. So I would say Wade Allison, Logan Day, because Wade Allison got the deciding goal the night before, and Cal O'Reilly are definitely the stars of the week with goaltender Felix Sandstrom. Screw three, we're putting four stars up. Uh, because Felix Sandstrom, and last and certainly not least, in the final game of the weekend, played tremendously well against the Hershey Bears. Just that's a game that the Phantoms looked tired. It looked like they couldn't get their legs going enough to get the offense going. And fell 2 to nothing to the Hershey Bears. 
due to uh, Vila scoring and Scarbosa, who seems to always play a great game for the Hershey Bears against our Lehigh Valley Phantoms. But this has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Tape by Sports Fanatic News. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy to Use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the season.